Hey everyone, it's seven o'clock and we'll get started. This is gonna be a shorter session today, but if you have any questions about the course and what I offer, you know, we're touching just a little bit of, you know, uh, what I have to share in my live workshops and in my course. So if you have any questions, please, please contact me. And I'd love to talk to you about it to see if it's something that would work for you. I offer free consults. So anytime you have any questions um, about bladder leaking, I would um, be happy to um, talk to you anytime uh, in a consult. So my name's Liz. I'm your tour guide for this journey. I have personally gone through menopause and have learned a lot along the way. And I have studied and taught yoga for over 14 years and learning, you know, I've learned a lot of natural things to heal the bumps in the road that menopause has caused in my life. You know, this challenge isn't a substitute for medical advice um, of physicians or other healthcare providers. You know, students should regularly consult their physician in matters relating to their health, and particularly with respect to any symptoms that may require diagnosis or medical attention. So let's get started. So, um, our homework last week was to practice breathing and concentrating on the pelvic floor and diaphragm working together, either lying down or seated. So we were doing some relaxation, trying to relax the pelvic floor. Also, we were trying one exercise using muscles that connect to the pelvic floor. And then um, we were talking about Kegels. If you are loose or have a mixed pelvic floor, you can practice Kegels. But again, we had a lot of warnings about that. If you have a tight pelvic floor, you don't want to, um, you don't want to have that uh, do Kegels right away because it can actually hurt hurt you. Um, uh, making uh, it could actually tighten the pelvic floor and have you leak more than you already do. So. Um, we talked about the rela relaxation breathing. You know, it's best for a tight pelvic floor. Do not start with Kegel exercises if you have a tight pelvic floor or pelvic pain. We discussed that. Um, Kegel exercises are often recommended for a strong pelvic floor and are often done incorrectly. And the thing is to find your best body position, sitting, standing, or lying down to do Kegel exercises. So if you are doing the Kegels. So one thing we want to talk about is urge incontinence. So um, this is a time when uh, maybe you open a door and all of a sudden you have to go to the bathroom or get out of a car or hear running water um, or like getting out of bed, like right away when you get out of bed. Um, basically what's happened is you have trained your nervous system that it has to go to the bathroom when these things happen. So every time you hear running water, if all of a sudden you pee or you run to the bathroom and go to the bathroom, you've taught yourself that when you hear running water, you have to go to the bathroom. And I went through that. I didn't realize that, um, you know, I would hear running water and I'm like, oh, I got to go. And I would go. And then um, another unusual thing happened. Um, I was at a grocery store that I hadn't been for a very long time and I went into the self-checkout and all of a sudden I had the urge to go to the bathroom and I thought, well, this is kind of weird. I didn't have to go to the bathroom while I was walking up to the checkout. Why do I have to go now? And then I started to think about a time years ago that I was at that um, checkout and I had leaking. Um, and I, so it, it was my brain kept that memory in my mind that at that particular checkout stand, it's time to go to the bathroom. Luckily, I had some tools, so I didn't leak when I was there. I didn't, uh, four years ago, I didn't have that, but I actually um, had it now. And at this time, I was able to use um, the tools you know, for the, the tools when I was at the grocery store, so I didn't leak. So in, oops, sorry, I'm going, I'm getting ahead of myself. Anyway, um, so what situations do you need a strong pelvic floor? What are your nervous system 
triggers. So are there certain situations, think about it, that you actually, um, something all of a sudden happens and you didn't have to go to the bathroom a minute before and then all of a sudden you have to go. There's actually a syndrome called key and lock syndrome where you go to your door, you didn't have to go to the bathroom, you go to your door, you go to unlock it, all of a sudden you leak. And it's, you have, um, because what has happened is you've taught your nervous system that when you come in the front door, you go to the bathroom. So if that's the case, you have gone to the bath bathroom, whether you needed to or not, as soon as you went, open the door and now your body, your nervous system thinks, oh, when you open your front door, it's time to go to the bathroom. So for your homework tonight, take one situation where you have to run to the bathroom, whether it's running water, getting out of the car, opening the door, and I need you to practice. So the first thing you want to do is use the breath and visualization to teach the nervous system to not use that trigger. So how do you do that? So you set yourself up in that situation, have have um, have pads or um, some kind of protection because you know that when these things happen. But when you come to that situation, whatever it is, start using that deep breath all the way to the pelvic floor. And then I'd like you to visualize something really relaxing. Maybe it's a beach scene. Maybe it's you laying on the couch, whatever it is, use that visualization till you feel like you don't have to go to the bathroom anymore. It may take a few times to practice this, but you want the deep breathing all the way to the pelvic floor and the visualization. The other thing is after it's over, do not run to the bathroom after the urge has gone away because basically you're reteaching your nervous system that it's time to go to the bathroom. So that's all I had, just a short day today talking about visualization. If you have any questions, be sure to contact me um, about urge incontinence or any of the visioning, any of the breathing practices. I'd love to talk to you. I give free consultations at any time if you're looking to find and manage your bladder leaking. So, all right, everybody. Good seeing you. So glad you joined today. And if you're on the replay, um, just contact me anytime. All right. Take care, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.